I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll show you how to edit and debug a Flash IDE project in Visual Studio using Amethyst Professional. I'm going to start with a project from Flash CS4, but you could use CS3 or CS5 if you prefer. This happens to be a maze exploring game, which I downloaded from the Adobe DevNet site. It has graphics and a timeline, and its action script code is kept in this code file. Amethyst can edit and debug code in any number of code files, but it won't debug interscripts embedded into the FLA itself. Up to now, this game has been designed and programmed entirely in the Flash IDE. Now let's see how we can get it into Amethyst. Amethyst has a project import and convert wizard. To use this, I select File, New, Amethyst Project Importer. Then I click Convert Flash IDE Project in Original Location and click Next. Now I browse to the top level folder of the Flash IDE Project and click OK. I enter a name for the project and then I click Next and then Finish. And the Amethyst Importer detects the main code file and imports the Flash FLA. If I want to switch to the Flash IDE, I click the FLA node and select Open Flash IDE. And if the Flash IDE is not already running, it will be automatically loaded. And now I can carry on working both in Amethyst and in the Flash IDE on the same project. I can use Amethyst's advanced editing features, such as its extended code colouring and code formatting, its IntelliSense and its refactoring. For example, here I am refactoring the name of the main class. And when I do that, I can preview the changes before committing them. And I can also use Amethyst to debug my project. In order to debug, I need to set the Flash IDE debugging option. And this varies slightly depending on which version of the Flash IDE you are using. In Flash CS4, I select File, Publish Settings. Then I click the Flash tab and I make sure that Permit Debugging is checked, and now I'm ready to go. In Amethyst, I can place breakpoints on my code, just by clicking in the margin. And then I can press F5, or click this button to start debugging. The Flash IDE now compiles and publishes the application. And when I use it, the breakpoints fire in Amethyst. And now I can use all the Amethyst debugging tools to hover and inspect or drill down into variables in the code editor. And I can also step through my code and drag and drop variables right from the code editor into a watch window. I can evaluate expressions, which can be quite simple or look into quite complex objects, and so on. So this gives you the best of both worlds, working simultaneously in the Flash IDE and Amethyst, a programmer or a team of programmers can carry on using all the design and animation tools of the Flash IDE and all the advanced editing and debugging tools of Amethyst. For more information on the features of Amethyst Professional, or to download a trial copy, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.